John Gill, Exposition of the Bible, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 15. Reading the verse from the King James Bible first, quote, Yet count him not as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother, unquote. John Gill, quote, Yet count him not as an enemy, as an enemy of Christ and the Christian religion, as the Jews and pagans were, or as an enemy of all righteousness, as Elimus, E-L-Y-M-A-S, the sorcerer was, as one that has an implacable hatred to good men, and a per- prosecutor of them, and has an utter aversion to them and their principles, nor deal with him in a hostile, fierce, uh, furious, and passionate ma- manner, as if you were seeking his destruction and not his restoration. This seems to be levied against the Jews, who allowed of hatred to encourage both persons, they say, and hatred that is spoken of in the law is not of the nation of the world, but of Israel. But how shall an Israelite hate an Israelite? Does not the scripture say, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart? The wise men say, When a man sees him alone, who has committed a transgression, and he admonishes him, and he does not return, lo, it is a commandment to hate him, and so he repents and turns from his wickedness. But admonish or reprove him, as a brother as one that has been called a brother, and a member of the church, and who through the criminal has no bitterness in him against the church or against the name of Christ and the doctrines of Christ, and therefore should not be treated in a virulent manner, but manner, but with a brotherly affection, meekness, compassion, and tenderness, and who indeed is to be reckoned as a brother while the censor is passing, and the sentence of excommunication is executing on him. For till it is finished, he stands in such a relation, though this it also may have respect as to the manner of excommunicating persons, so to the context of the church, to such afterwards, who are not to neglect them, and much less to treat them as enemies, in a cruel and uncompassionate manner, but should inquire and diligently observe what it, which effect the ordinance of excommunication has upon them, and renew their admonitions and friendly reproofs, if possible, to recover them. Unquote. Scripture, quote, Yet count him not as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. Unquote. End of John Gill, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 15.